was or what fake lasers pumping iron pumping crypto that's what it's all about crypto muscle and crypto muscle network coming to you in another video as you can see crypto muscle and the crypto muscle legacy these are the channels of opportunities that I bring to the forefront but I also got to keep you guys informed on the news and occurrences that are happening in our community of crypto here. And one of those is a platform that we've been in for over a year now. All right, and this is a private earning platform because they like to keep things private. And I don't mind that. So I like to share with you guys this private earning platform and uh, they like to earn on average of 3% a week. Auto compounding features and much, much more. But those are the main two things that you could, uh, you know, utilize in terms of just getting passive income. Hand free, hand free, just one hand free. The other hand, you know, working it. And, uh, yeah, and it's a very easy platform, very good platform, and temporarily taken off the death watch. We're going to see if it's intention and words that are coming from this private earning platform is going to come true. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But again, these are the channels of those opportunities that I bring. All right, so subscribe to everything I got. Especially my Telegram group, if you are wanting to chat it up, very accessible person. This is what we do. All right, so let's get into it. All right, the private earning platform. All right, where you get a private earning opportunity. And you know what it is. It's funds, yeah. Funzy is what the Singh brothers would call it. Funzy. <laughs> I don't know why they call it that, but they're idiotic. All right, the, the Singh brothers, they've been quiet lately too. Very, very quiet, you know, because there's only so much you can say about how every platform is going to scam, right? I predict it's going to scam. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I hate to burst your bubble and let the cat out of the bag, but every platform has a shelf life. Every platform is going to end at some point. So if you let that cat out of the bag, well, shit, that's the expectation that you should have in the back of your mind knowing that every platform is going to end at some point so it's always a matter of timing traction you know whatever it is that that can keep a platform going but it's all circumstantial too like you know it, it just depends on the platform in itself you know and it's really hard to predict you just have to just kind of feed off the news that's coming out of the platform and the people that are trying to distribute the news or lack thereof and try to take that in to kind of factor your involvement into a platform so right now funzy right is is a kind of a wait and see holding pattern right you want to see if this thing is going to come back and come through like they say they will and if they do, it'll probably it's going to be one of the rarest moments in crypto history, because rarely does a platform incur a problem and come back better than ever before. So we're going to find out, right? And I have the latest news to fill you guys in on, you know, finding out what's going to happen next. So let's take a look at it. All right, before we go, take a look at the back office here. You know what? Let's take a look at the back office, and then we'll go take a look All right, at the latest news. Um, this is the same thing that was posted last week about, <clears throat> let's see, uh, withdrawals have been placed on hold until compliance is in place. Yeah, so this is like last week's uh, thing here. It's a private member organization. So it's a private earning platform is what I call it. All right. And so with that, uh, I, I just recently, like a month ago, um, renewed the subscription to this, 
which would cover the whole year, as you can see, next billing date next year. So, cover the whole year on that. Uh, that way, I don't have to worry about a monthly subscription to it. And this is a worthwhile subscription, right? It's either $10 for silver or $30 for gold. To me, it was worthwhile to uh, even just to maintain this, right? It's been a hell of a year, and I want to keep this shit going. So, all right, just to recap, a year ago, I put in 2000 and staking rewards available in the wallet, $7,254. Lifetime earned 16365 so you know what that means. The rest of that, <laughs> between the staked and staking amount, the rest of that means it's been withdrawn. So, I'll tell you something. $173 balance, very nice. And also, let's see what's pending here. Because they said that it's going to be, um, wow, let's see here. Oh, let me go to the pending. All right, I was going to say. Yeah, so you have this one pending, 67. So it's not a lot that's pending there. So they said it's going to revert this, anything pending back into the account on where it came from. So I always pull from the commissions account. So 67 will just go straight back to this commission side here. 67, that'll put me at... Uh, let's see, 240. Yeah, 67, so 240. That's cool. And we'll see what happens after that. All right, so I earned, this week earned 3.07%. And that's based off the $8,979. So I earned $275 on top of that. So next time... For this coming week, I guess you could say, is going to be $9,254. So, for another couple of weeks at this rate, it's going to go and hit that uh, $10,000 mark that I wanted to get it to. And then from there, I'll just start. I think I want to do is uh, kind of look at what it will look like. Let's just say everything's back to normal, all right? I'll flip flop every other week. So once it's that 10,000 mark, all right, I'll look at what uh, it was earned for the week, you know, in commission, I'll take it, right? For example, I'll just say, I'll take this one. So next week I'll take whatever's earned out of the profit and then pass on the commissions part. And then the week after that, Whatever's earned on the profit or rewards, if you want to call it that, then, um, you know, I'll just, I'll keep flip-flopping. So one week would be staking rewards. The next week would be commissions. And then the next week would be staking rewards. Then the next week would be commissions. So every other week, I'll just continue to compound after that. As, the, uh, you know, the auto compound is on. All right. And to me, the recent change... And the operations of this platform, when it went from TRC20 to ERC20 USDC, I think, to me, started something that, I don't know, it was very coincidental that it went, it was fine and working for well over a year, and the minute you switched over to a new crypto, that's when problems started happening. I mean, it was very coincidental, it was that. I know they're saying it's because of compliance issues. Whatever, I mean, it's just... Very, very coincidental, all right? But we'll find out, you know? So, um, very easy to get started once we get this thing going. All right, all you gotta do, as I'm not gonna walk through that yet, we wanna make sure this thing is back on before we can start talking about depositing again, because I would just hold back on that, just to make, just to be sure. All right, so, you can see my staking details. So, been ongoing since you know, a year now. All right, just two thousand dollars, compounding it to ninety ninety two hundred now, taking home the rest of the sixteen thousand. So you know, seven thousand ish. So it's cool. Commissions e wallet withdraw logs. We could add it up. It's been good. 
All right, so let's see the uh, latest news here. All right, so over the past week, we'll just look at this stuff. They've been hunting. Uh, they've been on a witch hunt, looking at YouTube and saying, who put these videos up? Take these videos down. Put them on private. Whatever like that. You know, so see freedom fact fi key factors for financial success sustainable vehicles diver <laughs> diversification compounding interest all right list of words to avoid interest right uh trading we do not trade for individuals guaranteed of course nothing's ever guaranteed the company we're adapt decentralized application no one no one person or body governs it it's a private group and no one can join but only by invitation and so we do not sell securities, pyramid scheme. Our goal program is based on a four by eight network, not a pyramid. Funds is not a financial advisor, hedge fund, token, coin. Uh, all your videos must be kept in private, not public for sustainability. Thank you for your compliance. Um, how do they pay 3% a week? Like a lot of people have been asking, how do you pay 3% a week? Well, they never use more than 20% of the liquidity pool for consistency. They do not rely solely on a cryptocurrency market due to its volatility. They have developed a proprietary algorithm in participation to the crypto industry. Funds also buy precious metals that generate profit or income, sorry, income. Uh, funds has multiple healthy and sustainable sources of income. Monthly membership fees generate a steady injection of cash. Monthly membership fees support the operational cost. Automated membership fees pay most of the bonuses uh, instantly. Participating in future services, upcoming technology industries, provides income. Selling fun swag. You know, the t-shirts and stuff they have. And apparel in the store also generates income. The e-commerce marketplace provides 100% profit on stuff you advertise. All these pieces of proprietary algorithm provides a strong combination of wealth and building an ecosystem of funds. So all those things is what make funds go. All right, so again, they just been on a kind of a witch hunt going after everybody that has videos up on YouTube and things like that. And here's the latest part. You know, they talked about what's going on on the 27th. We're going to go straight forward to uh, what was posted yesterday because that would be the latest, latest update, all right? So we're going to do that. Latest, latest update as of yesterday. Uh, let's see, 30th, there we go. So, fry pay, 3.07%. Alright, here we go. Actually, no, that's 29th, is that the one? Okay, yeah, this is it. So, the latest, latest update as of, uh, not yesterday, the day before. Next seven days, pending withdrawals will be returned to where they came from. Right, we just talked about that. After July 6th, uh, extending six months to 12 months. Um... So they're saying that before July 6th, if you want to put in a deposit, you got to do it now if you want to be at six months. Because other than that, it's going to be a 12-month hold. And you're just going to generate rewards out of, you know, for 12 months. So you got to do it before the, the, before the 6th. After July 1st, the weekly percentage will max out up to 3%. So hopefully it'll just be a flat 3%. You might start seeing 2.9s and all that stuff too. After July 1st, there will be a 3% withdrawal fee to remove funds from the platform. Eh, There's nothing wrong with that. It helps with sustainability, right? Effective immediately, we're eliminating the Facebook group. August 1st is the new compensation plan that would be introduced for team builders only. More updates to come. Stay off social media with funds logos and all that stuff to stay compliant. So, very, very interesting what they're doing here. All right, so August 1st, we're going to have a new compensation plan. So this past one, I guess you could say now is the past, right, on the staking rewards and all this compensation plan. It's probably going to be pulled back a bit. Yeah, you know, so we're going to see what happens. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what it's all about. So we'll keep an eye on this. All eyes on funds and, I'm sorry, this private earning platform. All right, so that's the latest news and update on that. Check it out. Link's in the description. And comment down below. I'll see you next one.